Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of Rockerbox TV. I'm very excited today. My name is Josh Cunningham. I'm the founder and CEO here at Rockerbox. I've got an awesome guest for you here. A little bit change, a little bit different change of pace today. Normally we're interviewing our uh, team owners, you know, real estate professionals um, on the sales and uh, listing side uh, and buying side as well. But today we've got a special guest for you. We have got Spencer Richardson. He's a division manager at Premier Mortgage Resources uh, on the Mortgage Squad. And uh, welcome, Spencer. Thanks for joining us today. Hey, Josh. Thank you. And I wanted to bring Spencer on today because there's a very unique story than our typical path of success that we wanted to share with you. Um, you know, Spencer has been in the business for over 27 years. He's done pretty much everything that you can do real estate related. But uh, I actually want to just kind of pass the mic over to you, Spencer. We were just talking uh, before I hit record here, and you had a, a phenomenal background story about some of the companies that you've You've grown and built and sold and grown and built. And uh, you actually started your first company when you were 23 years old. Is that right? I did. Yeah. Yeah. A long time ago. That's awesome. Tell us a little bit about yeah. your uh, career path and how you got to uh, hanging out with our audience here today. Oh, great. Well, short version is I started as a loan officer um, in uh, 1996 in college um, and uh, got into the business that way. A friend of mine was in the business and uh, followed that path. Uh, started the first company, as I mentioned, at 23, uh, and we built that. It was, it was a pretty large company. I got it to about $5 billion a year, and that allowed me to have that's, a lot that's of- That's billion. Sorry, I got to interrupt you. That's billion yeah. with a B, right? Not an M. Well, B with billion with a B, yeah. That's yeah. awesome, man. <laughs> Keep going. Yeah, so, uh, and had the good fortune of selling that company, but through the process uh, of my career, I've had the opportunity to um, kind of touch every avenue of business from retail mortgage, a lot of interaction with realtors and real estate, um, wholesale mortgage, correspondent lending. Um, and we even had a number of uh, call centers um, and consumer direct models as well that we managed and oversaw, which gave me the opportunity to uh, experience and try call centers and calling and, and lead management, lead flow, et cetera, um, over the years. And, and uh, we have... Through the years, sold that company, did a couple of other companies, uh, and now we've landed with Premier Mortgage Resources about four or five years ago, and we've been doing this model. Uh, and we found you, I guess, maybe three or three years ago or so, and and uh, it's been a, a great fit. And with that past experience, I really value what you guys what you guys bring to the table and how you guys help us and the realtors. That's awesome. Well, uh, thanks for giving that intro. Um, why don't we talk a little bit more about just kind of the the, the path that 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 cost us to meet paths. Um, you know, what was it that you've had experience in call centers, you understand the frustration and the hiring and the training and the retention, all that stuff. What was it that happened three years ago that caused you to reach out to us and find us as a really good solution, you know, to plug those holes in your business? Yeah, great question. Um, well, we, I, again, I had tried um, with this platform, what we're doing today, you know, one of the things that we do that is unique, I believe, is we focus on being able to kind of invert the ISA model. And so we're looking to be able to approach it from a mortgage perspective, get those leads, get them qualified, and then give them to the realtor partners that we work with. And the realtor partners still have to call those leads. We still have to call those leads. And so for about two years, we tried having the loan officers call. Uh, we tried having the realtors call that we were partnered with. And they would call occasionally. Uh, mm -hmm. They'd call sometimes. Um, <laughs> sometimes they'd call quickly. Sometimes they wouldn't call at all. Um, and that's just the nature of the beast. People get busy, right? Um, yep. and on both sides, lending and on, on real estate. And our value prop being that we would help them increase their conversion rate from whatever lead platform they were currently working on. Um, and we did do that, but the mm -hmm. increase was much lower than, than anybody wanted, including um, them and myself. Mm -hmm. And I tried then opening our own call center, um, which um, again, which I quickly realized I'm not, um, you know, that's a full-time job. That's a full-time business. Certainly. Um, and uh, it's just a different business. I like to originate mortgages and work with referral partners, not really manage um, callers, frankly. Yeah. Um, and so I uh, looked out, re I reached out to a couple of companies, um, got some referrals um, uh, from other folks out in the marketplace and came across you guys. Luckily, you and I spoke, I believe, originally. And um, yeah, and it, it kind of went from there. And it's been um, everything that you guys said to be able to outsource all of that energy effort. Um, you know, there's cost savings in there as well, time savings, which is enormous. Uh, but that it, it uh, what caused me to do that was the frustration from not getting the ROI at the end of the day. If you just want to kind of put it in a nutshell. 
Yeah. These are some good fundamental business practices from a guy who, again, has an experience with the B word, billions. Uh, because you, you're right, in order to build and grow and scale and leverage your business, you got to bet on your strengths and delegate your weaknesses, right? I mean, there's no point yeah. in beating yourself up over, you know, something that you just can't get right. You got to figure out what it is that you're good at and then find somebody else who is good at what you're not good at and then hopefully create a, a wonderful partnership. So talk to us a little bit about that partnership. You, you came on board a few years ago. Um, you started working with Brady, your client care manager, and um, he's sort of helped you along the way, you know, Obviously, we're calling all these leads, we're identifying all these hot opportunities, and we're passing them over to the agents. Uh, why don't you talk to us a little bit about your experience getting onboarded and then and then working through this, some of those hot leads? Yeah, uh, onboarding, again, what I would say uh, uh, really um, to start off on that uh, is that you guys have followed through with everything you said that you would do. And uh, unfortunately, I have, tried, I have had some other experiences with some other companies that are similar, but nobody's even close to Rockerbox. I'm not saying that because we're doing the interview. That's just the truth. Sure. Appreciate um, and, that. um, but you guys did follow through with everything that you guys said you would do. The onboarding was pretty seamless, um, and, uh, uh, pretty smooth. So, um, you know, into our platform. Um, so that was great. The onboarding was great. We got going and then we had to learn how to utilize the transfer. So what does the transfer mean? And what are your guys' notes? How, because we had to figure out what do we do with it? After mm -hmm. You get it to us as basically from a cold lead to, um, we call a warm or a hot lead at that point. Yep. yep. Um, and the, oh, sorry, we're going to say something. No, go ahead. Yeah. Keep going. The, so the experience has been great. Um, what it's really allowed us to do is to truly then get, give true value to the real estate partners that we work with. Um, also, it's allowed the loan officers, now their work, they don't burn out on the leads, right? So mm -hmm. when they were having to call all of the cold leads, they burn out pretty quickly, even if they made their best effort to call the leads. Mm -hmm. um, and so now they're a lot more excited to call a warm lead. They have some information on that lead. They, um, and we can utilize that information when we reach out to the client and, you know, and, and reference, um, you know, what the notes might be as an example, what size of home they're looking to buy, where they're looking to buy, et cetera. And you guys get pretty granular. You get quite a few good notes in there. Sometimes, yeah. you know, I'm going to live with dad or mom or grandma's about, you know, co-signing or whatever it might be. So, yeah. Nice. That's great. You know, that's probably one of the proudest compliments that, that we receive over and over and over again here at Rockerbox is people say we delivered on what we promised, you know, and I, I grew up in the world of, you know, you never over promise under deliver. You do the exact opposite of that. You, you under promise, you over deliver. And so thank you for that. That means a lot to us. That means a lot to our team, um, you know, in College Station. Um, and I think the other thing that's really exciting that you talked about was just the, uh, you know, the quality of the notes, the quality of the conversation. That's something that we work on day in and day out to train up our callers, to make sure that we're setting you up for success. You know, the agents calling the leads, the, the lender officers calling the leads, they're going to get lead fatigue. You know, you, there's so many cold leads out there. There's so many uninterested buyers. There's so many nosy neighbors, looky-loos, Scooby-Doo's, Mickey Mouse's, like you've seen it all. And so it's nice for us to be able to take that off your plate because that's what we specialize in. That's what we're excited about and proud of doing each and every day is, is calling all those leads to sort of free up your time free up that mental space, you know, that stress, that, that heartache, that headache that people go through by calling all these, um, these cold leads all the time. So glad to hear that. Thanks so much for the, for the compliments. Uh, why don't you talk to us a little bit more about just, um, you know, some of the, how you've used this to leverage some of the relationships uh, with real estate professionals and being able to, to create more connections and build out your network through providing this solution to them. Absolutely. It's been pretty critical to our model, um, our growth of our model, I should say, because it really has allowed us to focus on what we do well, as you mentioned. Um, I like the way you put that. We focus on what our expertise are um, and we can go out. Um, and when we're speaking with real estate agents, they all generally all of the partners we're looking we're looking to partner with are doing some form of leads. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's why this makes sense. And when we when we get to them, we're able to share with them. You know, I ask them the question, you know, how good are you at following up your leads? What systems do you use? And and we kind of peel the onion back uh, a few times. Most of the time, they're okay at following mm -hmm. up with the leads. And so uh, our whole goal is to bring uh, added value. And so most uh, big teams have an ISA, might have an ISA to or an ISA team that mm -hmm. can afford it. But smaller teams or individual agents. Um, really can't afford that. And so we've been able to leverage that, um, A, the cost effectiveness of, of Rockerbox, which is very cost effective. Yep. And we've been able to leverage that in being able to extend that to the real estate partners and bring them that value. And along the way, we're able to even get mortgages out of it, which is why we do it, right? That's the whole point yep. for us, yep. uh, kind of in a inverse way. And so, um, 
And so it's really allowed us to grow. And it is the thing that catches their attention um, when we're speaking to them versus the other lenders they might use or, or contemplate using. You know, hey, if we can increase your conversion by 2% or if we can help you get another 6 to 12 transactions closed this year, is that worth having a conversation? Um, and with your help, we can do that. Without Rockerbox, we wouldn't be able to follow through with that. Yeah, that's great. And you talk about cost effectiveness, just to kind of get into some of the details here and, and pull back the curtain. All of our callers back in College Station are all students at Texas A&M University. Not sure if you've heard any good Aggie jokes out there, but it is actually a very prestigious university. Uh, there's normally the top 10% of the high school graduating class that gets attracted to that town. Uh, and then, of course, these students show up, you know, looking for ways to build their resume, to uh, create new skills, to, to have new experiences. And so that's our talent pool back in College Station. And we start out our callers at 10 bucks an hour. Now, we have a, an awesome org chart where we only promote from within. So they work their way up from that 10 bucks up to several different positions, you know, trainer, floor leader, uh, recruiter, lots of different stuff that they can learn new skills and get some new responsibilities and privileges. Uh, but if you just do the math there, I mean, we're open 80 hours a week. If you had someone 10 bucks an hour, 80 hours a week, that's $3,200 a month just to have access to the resource. And that's not even including the training, the rewarding, the discipline, the accountability, all those measures that we have in place. So for 3,200 bucks, you know, our entry level price is a thousand bucks a month. So it's just, it makes so much sense because we're using those, those shared resources. That's the, uh, the old Uber of real estate, so to speak, you know, everybody used to always love those catchphrases. So yeah, we're excited to be able to pass on those savings to you and be able to share our resources with all of our clients. And, and that's what makes it so cost effective from coast to coast. So um, Spencer, if there was anybody that you knew that, that was considering Rockerbox or somebody that was thinking about creating a, a, a partnership with you and wanted to learn more about, you know, how this all works, what would you what would you have to say to them? What would you recommend to them? Well, I would certainly recommend if they're going to spend any money on leads to engage you guys, uh, rock, engage Rockerbox on um, doing that front end work for them. Um, mm -hmm. And and then then really spending the time when it comes to the lead and the lead and, and, and the lead management setup flow follow up, spend the time on what they do after the transfer, right? Because you still, it still is a lead. You mm -hmm. still have to call them. You yep. have to call them quickly after you get the transfer in there. You read the of notes, see, see what the situation is. And so that would be one of the areas that I would say, hey, make sure they're going to get the front call done for you, but there's still a lot more work to do. And it's just, yep. you know, at the end of the day, it's a lead. You know, it's, yep. <laughs> they have, you still have to show them a property or you still have to take a loan application. And yep. so um, we've got to do that part and focus there. So we've been spending a lot, really the last six months on, on really honing in on how to best our drip campaign is really addressing how it happens after the transfer. Yep. And so we're seeing a lot more success in the last few months um, after a concentrated effort on that, uh, on that portion of the process. That's great. Yeah. I mean, you said it best. It's, it's, you have to think of us as your personal assistant who's doing, you know, cutting out 90% of the labor and the work but there's still some work left to be done. Yeah. And that's where your expertise comes into play. You know, we've, we weeded out all the Scooby-Doo's, we weeded out all the looky-loos and said, hey, here's the, the pile of gold. That's where we get our name from. Rockerbox is an old gold mining tool uh, used to separate the sand and the gravel from the gold. So we're handing off the gold, but you still got to do something with it to, to turn it into a commission check or to help someone realize their uh, real estate dreams. Well, thanks so much for joining us today, Spencer. I know uh, yeah. you got a busy, uh, busy schedule ahead of you and um, you always got stuff going on. And so we appreciate you taking time out of your day to share your story with us. Um, for those of you who are watching, you know, hope that you tune in next week as well. We've got more uh, wonderful guests coming up to share their success with Rockerbox and share some, some tips and some insights on how they're using it. Uh, again, Spencer here today, a little bit different than our normal pattern. We normally, you know, uh, get introduced to team owners um, and real estate professionals that, uh, that sign up for Rockerbox, and a lot of times they'll get a lender partner to help share that cost with us. Uh, they share that cost with them, but um, but since Spencer here is actually doing kind of the reverse way, so uh, again, definitely wanted to uh, share your story with our audience here. Appreciate your time today, and uh, thanks again for watching, guys. Thanks, Josh. Yeah, thank you, Spencer.